After spending a year in the novitiates at Deliceto, Gerard was professed as a religious on the 16th of July, 1752. His first superior, while Gerard was getting transferred to another community, had this to say about Gerard. Well, I'm sending you a useless brother. Gerard proved the superior wrong in his span of less than six years as a religious. His conference had another tag word for Gerard. Let me do it, brother. For whenever there were things that were difficult or difficult situations or circumstances, Gerard would volunteer to step in and do something about it. Gerard made himself in many ways useful. He would accompany the Redemptorist missioners on their missions. He was a spiritual guide, discerner of souls, breaking down profound truths in simple words to simple people. He was a great spiritual guide. The spirituality of St. Gerard was one rooted in the Alphonsian tradition. The crib, the cross, the tabernacle, and our Blessed Mother. Gerard had a profound love for the crib, which is a manifestation of God's tremendous love for us when he chose to become one like us. The cross is a manifestation of God willing to die for us through his passion, death and resurrection. And of course, the Eucharist, which is God's abiding presence in our midst when he said, I am with you until the end of ages. Gerard had a profound love for our Blessed Mother, like our founder, St. Alphonsus, and he would share these devotions with others through his ministry. As I Gerard was a grassroots saint, simple, humble, always obedient to God's will. In fact, outside his door was a little note which read, Here God's will is done. Towards the end of his life, Gerard suffered from tuberculosis and in his suffering and in his pain Gerard was always cheerful and he died on the 16th of October 1755. Gerard was beatified on 29th Jan 1893 by Leo XIII and canonized a saint by Pope Pius X on 11th December 1904.